Hey guys, this is Ken from jazzham.com. Jazzham.com is an online store that buys sells trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you want to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we would greatly appreciate it if you'll buy a watch from jazzham.com once in a while. So today we're going to be reviewing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. This is the model number or reference, num reference number 15451st.zz.126 or rather 1256st.03. As that, that's sort of a lengthy model number. Like I said, I'll have the links to this watch in the description below. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. So jumping right into the dial, you can see a very beautiful style dial and it's very, a very simple dial in general. The dial's color itself is a blue style dial. As you can see, as I tilt it against the light, it does capture the light very nicely. The score patterning, uh, Audemars calls that a grand tapestry patterning, which is the, the square patterning on the background for that blue dial. The hour markers themselves, there are just index hour markers with a land marking uh, double, hour, uh, double hour markers at the 12 o'clock position. So it helps uh, with easy, easier reading of the dial for that having that additional um, to sort of doubling up on that 12 o'clock position so you can easily uh, tell the watch. Even if you have the watch down, you can just immediately tell the time just by looking at it as uh, so. Besides that, the hour markers themselves are just white gold, uh, white gold hour markers. So each in the uh, each individual stick hour marker is um, fashioned in eighteen karat in the eighteen karat white gold. The hour markers themselves are luminous, so that means they glow up in the dark for up to eight hours. And actually, you can show you the luminosity. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off my light here in my light box, and we're going to go ahead and charge up, uh, charge up the those hour markers. And there we are. You can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it off. You can see very easy to read, uh, very easy to read during the, in the dark as well. You can see that beautiful luminosity from those hour marker, uh, from those hour markers at 12 o'clock position all the way around, and even on the hour and minute hand as well. You can see that luminosity will help uh, very nicely during uh, during the night. But moving back, moving on. Besides that, we have the date one at the three o'clock position. Uh, three o'clock position there, easy to read. Um, as you can see, it's currently at the 13th. And then we have the Audemars Piguet name at the 12 o'clock position with the AP, uh, the AP logo in the white gold as well. And at the six o'clock position, we have the automatic, as this is a self-winding automatic watch. At the very bottom, at the very six o'clock position, between the uh, in between the hour markers, we have the Swiss made with sort of uh, stick indices all throughout in between each hour marker as well. So very, very simple dial. The bezel, however, as we move on to the bezel, we have we have rows of diamonds of with the typical uh, typical screwing uh, typical screws, the white gold screws on the hexagonal on the hexagonal case. Uh, we have individual rows uh, individual rows of diamonds. So five. Uh, five sets of diamonds all around all around the dial for a total of 40 brilliant cut diamonds. The carat weight of the diamonds in total equal to equal to about uh, 90.92 carats or so. So a little bit less than a, less than a full carat of diamonds, but still uh, adds a very nice brilliance and very nice shine to the overall face of the watch. As the the dial itself is very uh, fairly just simple, we have this very beautiful eye catching bezel to sort of just shimmer the light. Uh, against the diamonds and also the bezel itself is nicely high polished around the edges as well to add an even more shine to the face of the watch to make it very eye-catching towards the frontal uh, frontal view of the watch and even on the side view you can capture that nice shine throughout as well moving on to the moving on to the case now the case size of this watch is a 37 millimeter case size so uh, so from an inexperience to my thumb here, that's 37 millimeters in diameter. The th overall thickness of the watch, you're looking at 9.2, uh, rather 9.8 millimeters of thickness. So will we'll fit under those suit cuffs, dress cuffs very nicely. It doesn't set too high off the doesn't set too high off the wrist. The whole case itself, including the bracelet, is of a stainless is of a stainless steel. I believe Audemars Piguet uses a th uh, the industry standard steel, which is a 316L steel. Moving on to the crown now. The crown is a simple screw down crown on winds counterclockwise as, as shown. And the standard position is where you can wind the watch. About 15 to 20 winds is all you need to get the watch started once more. 
Pull in the crown to the next position will allow you to adjust the date and, uh, very quickly, very easily. You can see at the three o'clock position, just by going clockwise, you can see how quickly and easy it is to set that date. And then the pulling the crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the hands bi-directionally as shown. And of course, uh, of course, pulling the crown out to the final position will also stop the second hand as I've stopped it before that 24, uh, that 25 second mark. Pressing the crown back in will start it once more. And always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case as you want to keep this watch water resistant. Specifically for this watch, we're looking at 50 meters or that's around 166 feet. All right, moving on to the bracelet now. So we have the be very beautiful standard AP bracelet. This is a stainless steel bracelet. Sort of has these little linkage of the smaller linkages to the larger larger links. Very beautiful tapering from the from the lug all the way to the first links all the way down to sort of a sort of even patterning towards the back uh, towards the clasp. You can see the AP logo indicating the class here with the two uh, two button pressers there, which will show shortly. Moving on to the other side, you can see picks back up to a very beautiful tapering once more. And one thing to note is that they have a very nice, uh, very nice edging on the whole bracelet with this very nice edge of high polish and that goes throughout the whole patterning of the bracelet. You can see that continues to each and every individual link. A very beautiful, just nice little tapering of high polish on this against this sort of contrasting of this brush steel of the, the AP bracelet itself. AP calls it AP calls their class as we move on to the class now the AP folding class is indicated by these two button presses you just simply press these buttons together and there we go it releases the class and this is how the class looks like it's just sort of like a butterfly deployment we have the AP uh, automorphic gain name on both sides of each class blade so one on this side and one on this side as well and then simply closing it up Always looking for the bar side first because the, the AP logo has to sit on top of that bar side. And there we go, closes up very nicely. So one more time, I'll go show you again. So the AP side comes off, then the underside. I'll show you the back side here. That's how it looks, opened up. So let me put that back together for you. Bam, side one, side two. There you are, it sits down very nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the case back now. So the case back is the exhibition, uh, exhibition case back, so you can actually see the movement in here. The movement that the Audemars Piguet, this Audemars Piguet watch runs is a uh, self-winding caliber 3120 movement. Uh, as you can see, the sapphire, the sapphire crystal allows you to see the sort of inner workings of the movement, not too much of it though. Uh, mostly what we do see here is this large 22 karat gold uh, oscillating weight. And one th little neat thing about the weight itself, it actually has AP's uh, coat of arms. Let me just get this a little more in focus here for you. All right. So on the, there's two sets of coat of arms, one on the left side, one on the right side. The left side here, this one, um, this one here is a bird with three stars and a dungeon with a flag, and that's the Audemars coat of arms. And the second portion of the name, the Piguet, is on the right side here. Their coat of arms being a horse with a horse with a sword and the three stars as well. So it's a little neat, a uh, little neat thing there to have. Very beautiful. You can see uh, just the overall finishing on the movement just looks absolutely gorgeous. Of course, on the case back itself, you still have that brush, that brush steel polishing as this does sit on the top of your wrist, but still adding that nice high polish to match with the bezel to keep that shine throughout the uh, sort of shine throughout the sides of the watch. And then, of course, the screws that the screws, the hexagonal screws that uh, hold the case back down together, goes all the way through the case to hold the case together. You can see that being all around the edge as well. We have the Royal, the Royal Oak name at the 12 o'clock position of the case back there. The movement, the movement itself uh, does have a power reserve. We're looking at a 60 hour power reserve, meaning you could put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon and it'll be keeping time just fine. All right, now let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. One thing to note is that I do have average man size wrist. This is more of a ladies. This is more of a lady size watch. As it's, it is a 37 millimeter, so it's going to look a little tight on my wrist. So I do apologize for that. So this is a 30. So my wrist is a seven inch wrist. You can see it does sit a little. It does sit tight on me. But if you're buying this for your lady, then it should be completely fine for her. 
So there is the Audemars Piguet watch, very beautiful blue dial, grand tapestry pattern, making that nice uh, patterning in the background that keeps, uh, keeps the dial nice and interesting, but if, even if that's not interesting for you, those diamonds all around the all around the bezel are absolutely gorgeous. Once again, that's 40 diamonds, brilliant cut, uh, under a carat weight of approximately 9.92 carat weight. A beautiful high polish on the side, like I said, won't fit under the, well, won't sit too high off the wrist, will fit under the suit cuffs, dress cuffs very nicely. You can see that AP, uh, that AP stainless steel bracelet, that tapering just looks absolutely gorgeous from that first link all the way down to the evening, evening on the edge, just adds a nice proportional view overall to the face of the watch. So if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website, jazztime.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer a one-year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.